guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 5 and 6 of my hot sky, Pretty Cure. You're probably wondering, like, yeah, um, same day as Hirogata, yes. Today really was the only day out of the whole week of Vacation Part 1, because Vacation Part 2 starts tomorrow. Um, I was able to record this, so, because you know, your home call is supposed to actually be in color. But, you know, we're not talking about that wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one, go. It's so funny because the people who know why I'm fangirling, you know why. But the people who don't, it's so... She wants milk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And there she goes. Can you believe that we're already on episode 5 and 6 of this rewatch? That's so freaking crazy. <laughs> Cause like, I feel like we... We might... Fi okay, well, we know with freaking Pretty Care... Yes, Pretty Care 5, go, go. I don't think I will finish by the time the show arrives. I, I really don't. Maybe. But for this, I feel like with this show, I'm not going to finish this until next year. I mean, because I'm already busy as hell. Um, Even though I like to be busy, though. But sometimes I don't really like to be busy because sometimes when you come home from work and then you have to do more work, you're tired. And then you're like, oh, my God, how am I supposed to get all this done? And then it's worse when people want to ask you, hey, can you watch this? Can you watch that? Can you watch whatever? I have no time sometimes and you know 50 out of 50 it's just like yes I love it and then sometimes no I don't love it but I asked for it that's all I got to say about that sometimes it's just hard not all the time we're at the part where yeah it is currently hard They're cheating though. Even the flowers are pretty, even the ice. You pass. If you don't have it, you know. Not the teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
一个。No, it's okay, baby. Hey, at least she has her wand this time, right? Oh, my recall. Uh, see? I mean, yeah, if you don't beat him, join him. Yes, Mirai. Kind of. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> When you feel warm, it boils. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. So if Mirai passes, you pass. You still learn something from this. Yeah, but because our precious baby girl Rico is a little hard headed and frustrated, she's upset that, you know, she didn't do it on her own. Rico. Go. There's no way in heck he. It... No, he doesn't get sapphire. They don't get sapphire today. Wouldn't it at least be in episode six? It has to be. Uh, because I do not remember if they get on their stone today. Because don't they go to, like, the beach during, like, a class episode? And then that's when they get Sapphire?
Rico, honey, you are trying to have a moment with your girlfriend, your wife, ma'am. Oh my God, baby. Just apologize, kiss, make up. Hug. See, you made her cry. Because you two are arguing. He doesn't like it when you do argue. Ugh. Y'all remember that ice dragon from SAO? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me catch you know, I had to talk about that because one of these three is in that series. Can't tell you who though. I mean, I could, but then it would tell you obvious like who she is and who she plays in this. So I can't. Stop being bitter. Me die. No, 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 no. You're kind of better than me. To make your hands warm. Oh my god, Rico. <laughs> no, it, it it is sapphire.
that or it's um You think the monster of the week really cares about that? No. <laughs> right? Because, like, you know, five episodes in and she has not called me die by her name. It does also make you kind of wonder, um, let's talk about merch real quick. Okay. So since 20th anniversary and all, it does make you wonder if they're reselling everything or they're making new additions of everything. Like, would like to see plush of these outfits, please. I'm just saying that or like keychains not only of just the regular outfits but also these like these outfits once again iconic very iconable like i can't speak it, it's just still it's still one of the best transformations for this series so highlight that ish plus the music for the transformation iconic Yeah, so I don't think it would be Sapphire. It would have to be at least one of the other Linkle Stones that is mainly for, can't say it, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, it was just the aquamarine one. Just as important, but still not for them. For
to make ice cream. Mm hmm Am I just going to start calling her by her name now? Yeah. Might as well. Hi, Hot Chan. I'm going to go cry in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you two aren't fighting anymore. Yeah, just call her Rico. There we go. Need I? But still. Hot John, love it up. Baby, love it up. <laughs> We're not there yet, but still. See, I remember when we saw the Aquamarine stone, like I said, going back to Gold Princess, I came before this series and such, Um, you automatically kind of, the way how I looked at it when I was watching this season and comparing it to Gold Princess, like, as I said, you know, there's certain keys that those girls had that they could only certain girls could use and stuff. So when I saw the stones, I was like, okay, so is it going to be like, okay, one of the girls can only use this one, one of the girls can only use that one? Well, technically, all those stones are just really for Hachan and Hachan only, really to just, you know, if she wants food, because I can't really remember any other time. When Hachan turns into Cure, when she used it, you know, I, like, if y'all can probably remember that and say that and voice that in the comments, then yeah, because truly, I don't remember any other time besides when, you know, the evolution of Hachan growing when they use that. It's very similar to, um, Hagutan. We can kind of say L and then a little bit of um, latte. There we go. Oh, they didn't add subtitles to this part. <laughs> mm. Subtitles are like, yeah, no, not today, bro. Oh! Yeah, and that's when, you know, we're like, oh, God, yeah, Rico has all this anger. Yeah, I mean, because, like, seriously, five weeks in into the first time when I was watching this, like, I, I like, I had, I, I wouldn't say I had a love-hate relationship with Rico. I mean, I understand because when you look at every single pretty here in the series as a whole, there are ones who are very similar to Rico and how sometimes they are very bitter. And then there are even ones even after her who are still exactly like her and have those moments. <laughs> Kira Cosmo, we looking at you. Best girl. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, even with the fact is of her anger and her resentment about, you know, hey, me and I being the one to cast the spell, working her magic, still passing them and such, and being like, well, 
you did it, so I only passed because of you and such. And I think even if the roles were reversed and Rico did it, me and I wouldn't have been angry. But because Rico is wanting to become this greatest magi magician and to, you know, enhance her powers and everything, she feels like even when she's passing, with the help of her friend, she still feels like a failure. And being like, I have to do it without you because there's a day. Like, you can sit and hold my hand, like, every single day because we're going through this because we're partners. Because you're my girlfriend. Because you're my wife. But there's going to be a day where we're not going to be together. We're going to be separate. Like, something might happen where we might have an exam or just something in the situation, you know, trying to save the freaking world. And we are separated and I have to do something without you. And that's the time where I have to have my own power and my own confidence in myself. And that also just still shows you how much confidence Rico doesn't really have at the beginning of the series versus like towards the end of it and such. Once again, these girls, and, and this is not only just in Mahot's guy, but in the greater grand series of universe of Breaker, they all have their own moments of where one minute at the beginning of the series, they're not as like the confident girls that we think they're going to be. But by the time we do finish it, especially when you're looking at the main characters of the show versus, you know, everyone else who comes in after the main characters, that they have this confidence and that they take all the lessons that they've learned from the moment that we've met them up until now and they use it for the greater good into what they want to be in the rest of their lives. But still, yes, we're going to have these two fight countless of times because, you know, they're the couple and they have to fight and such. I mean, even with the fact is, like, Baby got frostbite. I mean, well, her hands or fingers were getting numb and such because she's trying so freaking hard. And it's like, if you just would have been with me and I and helped with me and I, like, y'all could have gotten that over and done with. But because she has so much, like, anger and ish and because she is a little hard-headed baby because I love her so much, like, so... It's Rico at the end of the day. Me and I, she still did a good job. I'm very, very happy that, you know, both her and Rico did pass. Um, I mean, but yeah, very still, you know, good behind episode. It just reminded me of how kind of like just the relationship of these two. If you go back and look at like the first couple of episodes of Tropical Rouge before um, Coral came in when it was just Summer and Laura and how they, you know, went at their moments or like the first couple of episodes of Healing Good eventually when we got into when Nadoka and Rabadeen like literally had their first argument for the first time. That is just specifically like this. Like any episode, any Pretty Cure episode where they argue paves the way for other Pretty Cure series to see like two out of the such and such argue. Like hell even the one episode of star twinkle pretty gear where it was both um oh my god what is her name <laughs> how do i forget their names um cure selene and cure we're gonna cheat <laughs> okay give me one second mm-hmm Okay, so Cure Selene and Cure, or Elena, aka Cure, so, yeah, Soero, Soero, mm -hmm. Selene and Soero, I can never say Selene, her, yeah, Selene and Soero, those two, Elena and, um, Elena and Madoka, I believe, yeah, when those two fought for the first time, because of the fact is, that those two are the sun and the moon of the respective series and such. And they are equals and opposites at the same time. When you finally saw those two argue, like, in a way, I was like, finally, because you want to see, aka the quote unquote, what I like to call them, the moms of the show argue. But it was just because of an episode and because of what was happening in that episode, we needed that sort of quote-unquote argument that we got from it and such but i mean yeah very very good but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second 
for episode six. Alrighty, episode six in three, two, one, go. No, you'll still have a lesson today. Mm -hmm. And that substitute is Rico's sister. The one carrot. <laughs> Just the way I'm about to say this real quick. Okay, you know the one character from Little Witch Academia who hates Akko? Um, okay, so take that character, right? And imagine, like, she was super sweet, had a little sister, and such. That's what I kind of think Liz is. But, like I said, she's not mean, like, what's her face? She's super nice and she's super sweet. And, but if it was like, if, okay, if I could say this, if Akko and her had a really good friendship or, you know, sisterly relationship and one is greater than the other and how she overshadows her, old, her younger sister and she feels like she once again is useless and feel some type of way there you go that's kind of the relationship of rico and liz in a nutshell without you know spoiling the episode even though we're about to watch it <laughs> this is a really weird analogy deja <laughs> I mean, but you know, hey, it made sense. I got it. Like, you know, the perfect student, the people, like everybody looks at her. Mm, yes. That's the queen, essentially, you know. And just because you're Rico's sister does not mean she's going to be like, I'm going to be easy on my little sister. No. Oh, God. This is the day that she was for her one. No, oh, Rico. Well, I mean, with magic, you can practically really do anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. It's just nerves. I mean, because she wants to still impress her sister at the end of the day. <laughs> You'll do fine.
teddy bear, kind of. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh. Okay, come on, Rico. Mm hmm. I think it's a lot more pressure on you because, you know, your sister. Rico, stop. No, you're overworking yourself. down Rico Go in a nutshell until like what the last couple of episodes little watch I could hear me
mean that the next time you see each other, of course, Rico's gonna feel some type of way. And that not only she has even, not only herself that she has to prove, she has to prove it to her sister and everything, that's a lot more on her. Oh, hot time. You want soup? Hungry? No, you just still try again. And then they have their real life necklace and it's 200 freaking dollars. $200. It does make me wonder if it's still on there. It makes me want to look after this episode. Because I really want it. It's super adorable and cute. And I literally would wear it with everything. Hmm? So it belongs to you.
See, I even think that, you know, when we get into the 20th anniversary movie, I don't think they're going to have... No! Well, you know what? I changed my mind on that. They're going to have to show the other forms for these two and freaking happiness chart. No. Yeah, happiness chart. So, yeah, they're going to have to do that. I mean, because you want to show everything. Well, at least you got it off its feet. I mean, she's a better magician than you, I'm just saying. And that's why Rico, okay, her younger sister looks up to her. Somebody would honk their freaking car horn like, damn, I mean, god damn, every time when I record, it's either the car horn, it's the blood, it's something. You know, can't really tell you another family member. Oh, hey, I'm a pretty cure. <gasps> Danger. Congratulations. She has a different aura. Mm -hmm. If your sister says she can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You know in your heart that you also can do it yourself. Relax. There you go. 
Well, you froze it, but still. <laughs> Shining star. See, yeah, okay, this is like my biggest thing, and hopefully one season this will happen. Okay, so going into the family thing and such, I want one season. One. In the future, eventually, that two pretty carriers, their sisters. We have not done that. I think that would be really interesting. You know, I, I yeah, I'm a little pissed that I didn't do it for the 20th, but I'm okay with that. That, you know, just tells me, hey, we can wait for it. I think it would be really interesting. Um, But you, you would see majority of their episodes would kind of be like them outshining one another and such because that's what Rico really wants to be at the end of the day. Because one, you have a sister who is like, you know, the greatest witch of all time to, in her eyes. So, you know, and then also being separated from your sister for such a long time and not having that sisterly bond anymore or just being together as you used to be, of course, you're going to look at your sister like a completely different way. So it does. I do understand like Rico, Rico and how she feels in that moment because she's like, oh, my God, OK, my sister is like my idol, the one who I look up to the most, the one that I want to eventually, you know, dethrone as like, you know, the greatest witch or magical wizard of their family. Oh, it's Ailey! <laughs> <laughs> but still, I mean, you know, every brother, sister, siblings in a nutshell, you're going to have that moment where it's like, damn, why can't I be like my sister? Why can't I be like my brother and such? Because they're, when you, when you look at these two, it's like, okay, yes, her, excuse me, Liz is like the golden child, the child that cannot do no wrong. While in the moment of Rico being the idolized, you know, the the one who idolizes her older sister and stuff, Rico is like, quote unquote, the problem child, even though she's not the problem child. I'm only really considering her the problem child because she's good at magic. She's not great, but she's not at the level of her sister. So she in that way is like the bad sheep of the group and stuff. So you feel bad for her when it's like, oh, hey, you know. Anybody finds out that, oh, hey, you know, you're, <laughs> you're related to the professor. So, okay, this is, this is a lot, you know, even more pressuring onto you because your sister is watching. Someone who's a part of your family is watching. Like, imagine if like, okay, I'll, I'll use it like this. You know how in Sinran for Shu and how his dad is like, in a way, kind of a little hard on him and such. Or like in any other anime where a parent is really, really hard on their son, daughter, whoever, and like whatever sport, um, possession, whatever type thing they want to do. Like I can say even for, um, a little bit of Madoka in Star Twinkle was kind of like that, but not really in a way you could feel that tension 
incest, especially with what she wanted to do for the rest of her life. Um, when you have a family that expects you to go in a certain direction, already having your life paved out for your future and such. And, you know, because of them being in like this high, higher up in society and such, um, once again, there is a lot more pressure on you to get those things right. And so for Rico, she really thinks like that and stuff. She has a lot of eyes watching her on anything that she does. Good, bad, anything in the middle, indifference, whatever. No matter what she does, she is always going to be judged because of her sister, because of her family and such. And because people are also watching her like a freaking hawk. And so if she does something wrong, it's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, you're kind of really trying a little too hard like your sister. Or maybe, yeah, no, you need to try as hard or even harder just like your sister. And literally comparing her to her sister. It's like, how it's the one thing that a lot of us don't really like when, um, Parents, teachers, whoever compare us to our other family members, friends even, and it's such, it's like, you know, I will never be this person. I'm always going to be me. Don't compare me to this person. Like, seriously, how dare you? Why? Like, why do you want me to become something that I'm not and such? And so that's what this episode in a way conveys for Rico as a person and such. There are going to be several episodes, in my opinion, that are like that, where, you know, she feels very hesitant and she kind of stops and she's like, oh, okay, like almost any time we're just thinking like, well, what should I, what should, ugh, I cannot speak. What would my sister do in this moment? Da, 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 and such. And so, I mean, in those like impactful moments, you're just thinking like, you can't think like that. You have to think about what would you do in that moment? But I mean, yes, very interesting episode. I really, from what I remember, I think Liz pops up a little bit more just kind of like how when Lulu's um no Lala Lulu Lala 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 wait I have to look it up I gotta make sure I, I literally have to make sure because I you know no that's uni um, damn it no mm, there you are Lala um Lala's um brother from Star Trek for Pretty Cure, aka what's his face from freaking um Don Machi. Um <laughs> with them, like I, I think from what I remember, if in my opinion, like he barely really shows up in Star Twinkle. So he he's kinda like the, you know, like Liz for this series because I barely really remember any other time Liz kind of pops up in the show and then the same thing for Lala's brother I can barely remember I think he only pops up like two or three times and that's more coming to the end of the series and such but I mean you know yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes five and six of Maho Sky Girls Pretty Cure if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episodes 7 and 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!